people often think of it as something that happens to other people or it happens over there. Most people know at least one person, even if they don't know it. Half of me was thinking, oh my God, is this gonna be the last one? And the other half of me was thinking, I hope it is. I hope he just ends it now. I had my head slammed in the walls over 70 times. From what the officer said, punched me in the face about 20 times. I almost had to have surgery. I said something he didn't like, and the next thing you know, I was covering my head up. He would drag her across the lawn. Strangled me until my eyes rolled back in my head and <sighs> the abuse would just kind of happen on a daily basis, always aimed at my head. You get hit on a regular basis, that can be the trigger for this devastating disease. There's no reason to believe that the hit that a woman takes during an episode of domestic violence is going to be any different or any less significant to her brain than the hit that a football player might experience on the field. They are having their head smashed against walls, sustaining concussions, traumatic brain injuries. I like to use the word traumatic brain injuries because I think it's really what it is. Concussion almost minimizes what it is. If a person experiences a high dose of those hits over a lifetime, some individuals develop a condition called chronic traumatic encephalopathy. It is a neurodegenerative disease that is very similar to Alzheimer's disease. Domestic violence victims can definitely develop chronic traumatic encephalopathy. I've never had a domestic violence homicide autopsy before. The level of head trauma that I documented made me think that there's a possibility that this person could have CT. And I honestly, I hope I never see a case like this ever again. Difficult thinking is probably the biggest part. It, it impacts all part of my my day. We weren't playing in a football field. We weren't fighting a war. The battle was in my home. We need people to recognize this for the public health epidemic that it is.